Orgola, and uh, I'm here playing Ark Survival Evolved again. Uh, so, welcome back! Alright, so, first things first, uh, quite a few things have changed um, since the last episode. Uh, as you can see here, I'm sitting on some wooden foundations. I am starting to work on the layout for what's going to be my main house. Um, it's going to be more of an aesthetic build than just a functional build. Um, so as you can see here, this is going to be the main part of the house here. Um, the main back room uh, is going to be the bedroom, kitchen area, um, and possibly have a little back deck on it as well. I'm not sure. That may expand. Um, trying to keep it within the confines of the point here. A few other changes. I am now level 13. And I have learned a few more engrams, obviously. You can see them here. Um, including the wooden foundation, which is what I'm building out of this out of right now. I think eventually I'm going to replace the floor with stone foundations, um, along with some other aesthetic changes to it. Um, I, I, like I said, I'm looking to do more of an aesthetic build than simply functional. I've done the functional build before. Um, it's good, it's fun, you know, you can kind of spruce it up a little bit, but I think this time I'm going to focus primarily on form over function uh, for the building, because to get the functionality you need is not that hard, and I can build outbuildings and such that will serve that function, but I'd like to kind of try my hand at um, more of an aesthetic build. Um, some other changes that have happened. Ta-da! Alright, so I was out with U-Haul, which you all remember, um, and while I was doing that, I ran a claw across this beautiful girl right here. This is Black Tide. Um, she's level 20 Sarko when I found her, and she was stuck in a tree. Uh, so I used my slingshot, knocked her out, and while I was waiting to tame her, Clarice dropped by. I believe she was level 4 or 5. Five when I found her, um, but I thought I'd just grab her. Almost fell off the edge there. Uh, I thought I'd just grab her to give you haul the mate boost, so that if I'm out and about with them, uh, his health and attack are just a little higher. Um, I have taken Black Tide out. We went down and around and over here on the beach, um, and we did kill a few things. I did not attempt to kill the Bronto. <laughs> Um, she did get a little beat up at one point, but she survived, so that's alright. So, I am actually, um, thinking of expanding... Oh, tail's going funny. Uh, of expanding the base here, if I can. There, there, this whole thing has a bit of a slope to it. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to place them or not, but I want to try and make this one wider for forward, uh, like where... Black Tide's head is, um, and go across once more with the foundations there. Um, the idea is that eventually there will be sort of like a balcony walkway and maybe some other like actual walled rooms that extend this way as well. Um, I kind of like to have it almost enclose this tree, um, but I'm not sure. That would be a very large building, and I'm not 100% if I'm going to do that or not. I also don't know if I want to keep this rock or not uh, right here. This is a harvestable stone as far as I'm aware, um, but I do actually kind of like what it looks like aesthetically, so I might just try to keep that, but I'm going for kind of a villa type build, um, so it's going to take a while for me to get the levels to learn the engrams for all the building pieces I need, um, but in the meantime I'm going to start at least with trying to work on a bit of a layout. Um, I'd like to work, start working on that as quickly as possible, because that's kind of my main focus right now. Um, and we'll build, doing all that building, will uh, harvesting and building will also give me levels, which will allow me to learn saddles so that I can actually tame some creatures and use them as mounts and not just pets that follow me around and kind of get in the way. Um, so I'm going to take... Black Tide here with me, she's a good girl, and I'm going to go gather some more resources, craft up a couple more wooden foundations, and see what we see. So I'll come back with you guys once we're ready to lay down some more foundations. Be right back. And man was here. He saw that was good, and thus he destroyed it. <laughs> uh, just a quick update, guys. You can see I have basically cleared out 
all the trees in this immediate vicinity here, and most of the plants actually. Um, Black Tide is about as encumbered as she can be, as am I. Um, and I did level twice more, so I am a level 15 now. I haven't spent any more Engram points yet because I haven't decided what I want, but uh, I am level 15 now, which is awesome. Uh, so, and I have crafted, I believe, about 20 wooden foundations. So. I'm going to go back up to the place, kind of organize all of the raw materials that I have into my storage containers, and then I'll come back when we're going to try and place a few more foundations. Alright everybody, so we're back here. I have uploaded and organized everything, got a few more narcotics brewing away there. So let's see, hopefully, if we can place some more of these foundations. Um, as you can see, while we may be kind of centered on the point here, we're not really centered on the tree. So I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work, if it's going to work. Uh, may not be able to do that, but I will be leaving the tree there no matter what, because I really like this tree. I think it's very cool looking. Um, I am a little bit concerned about these coming through the house, if I build in that direction, but... You know, it's, it's not a, a big deal. It's not a game changer for me here, so... Alright, so... Success! Success! Hey, that was the ones I was most worried about, because it kind of dips there. Success! Alright, come on. Success! And success! Alright! Alright, so this is going to be... Ooh, I'm going to need a ramp, for sure. Um... This is going to be kind of like the main house area. I wanted it to be at least three wide because that gives lots of room to put things around the outsides, even in the middle and such, and still make it feel open and easy to walk around. Um, just looking at kind of the back porch area here, I'm thinking... Yeah, that doesn't overlap the edge of the cliff there, and I don't think this one will either. Yeah, so I can put railings around this and have it be sort of like a little porch area. Um, if I go out any further, like I might be able to get, I might be able to get another foundation or two there. I don't really want to put foundations out hanging over the edges. I'd be, uh, well, I'll deal with that when it comes to it. I don't even know the railings yet, so it's, it, that's an aesthetic thing. It's going to be like one of the last things we do. Um... All right, so moving forward, I think I want to try and work on this arm of the house here, and I'm not entirely sure how I want to do it. Um, I would like to keep that rock there, but I'm not sure how far I can go in this direction if that's the case because I think I'm going to hit it like if you kind of look along the line here I, it, it might go past it but I'm not sure but we're going to try we're going to see how far we can get here I might not be able to oh yeah see like it's just too far here anyways I'm not going to be able to snap these foundations in so I did have an idea about that I was thinking that for the arms of the house I would actually um, have ceilings with pillars on the outside edges of them, and if possible, I want to see if I can get that trick where you can get the the, the pillars to be on the corners of the ceilings, um, kind of have them as supports along the outside edges, um, because I don't think it's going to be more than too wide anyways for those parts, uh, maybe on the other side, because I think it's going to go down and then kind of wrap back around a little bit, but not sure for sure so I'm gonna have to wait for those for now um, because I don't think I know pillars or ceilings of anything uh, okay I know thatch roof let's see here uh, da -da -da -da, where is it I know I could search I know I could search I'm also kind of just looking to see what I can know now. I could learn wooden ramps, uh, which I am going to need. I could learn the wooden pillars. Uh, we're not quite to the point where we can know the stone pillars. That's not... 
Where are those? Wow, that's level 25. Okay, so that's quite a ways away still. Uh, it's another 10 levels. Now, the other thing I had thought about doing was I did learn these. I could start working on trying to get water up here, uh, actually, and kind of move away from the the, uh, the other for the time being. Um, I'm not 100% sure where I want to bring the water up, and it could be very difficult, because if I want to bring it up the cliff, I'm just not sure I'll be able to reach. But we could give it a try anyways, and I, and I could learn... I can learn the Stone Reservoir. I have 24 points, so let's learn... Stone Reservoir requires cementing paste, yeah. And let's learn the vertical pipe. Yeah. Am I cold? Holy cow. Um, okay. And I think... I think that's where we're going to stop for now. Uh, I could learn the bow and arrow as well. Uh, I do actually have enough points for that. And I th think that's what I might learn. Um, mm, it's kind of hard to tell. You know what? I, I think I'm going to do bow and arrow because I just I need a way to defend myself. And it's a good way to, like crafting arrows and, and such, it's a good way to get points. Um, I could learn the fence foundation and the railing and such but again those are more aesthetic choices holy cow I'm freezing is it like four degrees wow yeah I mean I'm only in cloth armor okay um, let's see I'm gonna grab my stone yeah I've got quite a bit of stone that's good can I move no. Can I access you? No. Okay. Once here, I need to do this smart. <laughs> Whoa. Black died. Okay. Ah, pushing me around. Stupid gator. Okay, I'm gonna take those. I'm going to Of course I still can't move because she pushed me up on top of the box. Can I move now? Thank y'all. I'm gonna put fifty on you. I should be able to access you from the door. Okay, and I can move. Now, I don't think I made any cementing paste, because, yeah, because that takes, uh, can I access you? Yeah, I'm, I'm alright now. Okay, because that takes chitin and keratin. I do have a little bit, but not a lot. So, okay. So let's look here. Pipes. Stone. Okay, I can't make the reservoir because that takes cementing paste, and that takes wood. Okay, well, I'll need a tap eventually, but let's try for going... Let's make four of these. Oop, five, apparently. Okay. And I'm going to craft all 17 of these. I will need one of these eventually, but that's okay. I stone and wood are easy to get, so I mean, that's no issue. Craft those up. And I'm not 100% sure where I want my water to even come up here. Um, I could bring it onto the back balcony of the new building. That wouldn't be too bad. No, I'm hungry. Okay. Oh, and it's night time. Uh, I can't jump. Yeah, see, I'm just worried there's going to be, like, no way at all 
for me currently to actually like reach far enough up and down to get these pipes and it would have to go out pretty far to get over top of that as well. Yeah. Not the sure, not the sure. Cause it's gonna be a little while before I have the power of flight. I could try here for now. I could I could see if I could do it. I mean what's the worst case I can't. And I just have some random pipes that I'll have to destroy later when I have a flyer. So I mean let's let's try that for the time being. I should probably get rid of those, but whatever. Um Let's do straight and straight down. So five. Okay. So can I get to go out any further? Okay. There we go. I'm hoping it's far enough out. No, it's not. So, see, and that, that's the problem right there. I'm not going to be able to reach. Let's see. Oh, six. And six. Alright everybody, so as you can see here, I cleared out the top two pipes here, but I couldn't reach the rest. I actually died again trying to get to those to recover the stone. Um, but as you can see, I put a wooden foundation here, and then I laid the pipe. Um, I lined it up using the seams between the wood, and I had it just a little too far in, so the tank is not quite centered, but... It's here, it's at least centered side to side here, and it's relatively close. Um, it's not really in an overlapping or clipping through the wall at all on the side of the little hat there, so that's fine. And then we've got my eye level water tap here, so we'll be able to access that for some water the next time it rains, uh, which I'm hoping it does soon so we can test it out, but it should be all good to go. I mean, everything's snapped together. You can't place the water tanks. Whoa. I uh, can't place water tanks. Ah, no. Oh, oh God, that was so dumb. I, I deserve that. I deserve that. I was being stupid. This is why I need to learn railings. I mean, it really is. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a noob. What a noob. All right. Uh, thankfully, I had enough keratin. Um, the water tank actually takes five cement and paste, and I had enough to make six. So I just made the five, and I'm going to keep the rest of the keratin for now. But, yeah, so, I mean, I just barely was able to do that. Um, yeah, so I am definitely going to need to think some more about my water situation here. I mean, I'm right beside the ocean, and... Where did I go? And I can't get any water, so, I mean, that's a bit of a problem. Where did I die? Please don't tell me my body glitched to the world. I didn't think I did. Am I just blind? I didn't fall over this far. Where's my body? Please don't tell me I just glitched through the world. Oh, that would suck so much. Not that I had anything good on me, I just... don't like having to recraft everything. Uh... Okay, unless I'm blind, I totally glitched through the world, which I might have. Uh, I mean, I did fall from really far away, like really high up. Like, this is a... This is a big cliff. <laughs> um, shoot. Well, let me see. If I K, we zoom out all the way. Let's 
see what I just would my body have just sunk into the water table probably yeah I feel yeah, there's water right there <laughs> uh, I feel like my body is gone shoot well all right uh, I guess I'm gonna be crafting some more cloth armor and equipment um, I need to craft myself a bow and arrow anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna come back with you after it rains next so we can see how the water reservoir is working all right everybody so it hasn't rained yet but I crafted some water skins and put them in the tap so when it does we'll get some water um, in the meantime I crafted 115 arrows and I thought it might be fun to take some pot shots at dodos ah oh, but I'm a horrible shot uh, let's see. disabled crosshairs probably should re-enable those it's not like I can use them to cheat against other players like how powerful is this dodo <laughs> level 40 oh god uh, I think I'm more interested in high right now. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail. I missed one, and... Can I recover? It's probably just gone now. Right, yeah. Okay, so let's see here if we can do this a little better here. Okay, ranged combat. Where did it go? That looks like a hit. Die, yeah, Dodo. Nice. Still took three hits. Crazy. Okay, so question. If I'm in the crouch position... Uh, I think maybe Hello everybody! Uh, so, <laughs> you may have noticed it looks like there's some missing footage from the middle of the episode there. Kind of just cuts off when I'm trying to lay the pipes along the cliff, which I died like... God, I must have died like five, six times trying to do that stupid thing. Um, and then while I was shooting dodos just a second ago with my bow, it just, like, ends. Um, I didn't realize that the X and Z buttons on my were mapped on my OBS for starting and stopping streaming, which apparently stops the recording. So I've removed those key bindings now, so that won't happen anymore, but uh, just apologies for that the cutoff there, guys. Um, not much happened after that. I killed one more dodo, level 80, headshot, one hit kill. It was pretty epic. Um, and yeah, so just let me know how you thought about what you thought about the episode. Leave a comment, uh, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. You know, this is a hobby, so, you know, as with all hobbies and such, there's skills that need to be learned and a learning curve, and I would like to know. Uh, I am just doing this for fun, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to do it well. So leave your comments, let me know. Um, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe, maybe drop a like on the video. Um, if people do start subscribing and liking the videos, I may move from doing one episode a week to maybe bi-weekly. Um, I don't have a ton of time to record and play, so but I do as often as I can. So. You know, if people are interested in what I'm doing, if they like it, then, you know, I will make more time during my week to record. Um, my girlfriend may not necessarily like that, but hey, whatever. You guys are more important, right? Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Just joking, guys. Um, but yeah, so, but definitely, if people are liking what I'm doing, um, then let me know and I will record more episodes. Um, I'm going to be playing 
just as much anyway. It just means I'll record more, um, so there'll be more derping around and noobishness for all to see and, and hilarity may ensue. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Apologies for the cutoff clip there at the end, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.